Hey guys, this is Telish. Got a couple of matches for you today. One's a 3v3, which fully demonstrates the horrible capabilities of ST. And if you play a lot of competitive PvP, you may want to avert your eyes because it's truly a horrible sight to behold. Uh, uh, the second game is a 2v2 from Nexus perspective, in which he plays a phenomenal striker. So that was it was pretty crazy. I was very happy with him. Um, so, topic of this video is going to be where I lay my case out against uh, skill trees. Now, I want you to know this is not a direct response to anything that any of the discussion on the forums the last week or so. I'd actually decided to make this video a while ago. I just haven't had time. I've been busy with finals and stuff. Ah, so here it is. Um, so, talking about SDs. There are a lot of reasons I have a problem with them, and really it's not because I only like to play Final Destination, Items Off, etc, 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 GWC. There's a lot more reasons. Um, I do actually have a good deal of experience with SDs because when they were first released up until I think it was really Ryan that everybody started banning him, I played with them within PvP, and we all did. So I am fairly familiar with all the STs up until Ryan's, or up until Ronan's really. Stop paying attention. So I do know a little bit about them, even if I do my best not to associate with them. Uh, so, so many reasons. I had to write this down so that I made sure I didn't repeat myself. I made sure I was organized when I explained my reasons. So, uh, start, reason one. It is completely unnecessary. STs are are not necessary for this game to function correctly. Any class that needs an SP is a class that needs to be redesigned or revamped. I'm going to use Knight as my example because it's one of the classes I play the most. Knight's moveset, not counting as skip specials, consists of a jump attack, a regular combo, a dash attack, and a uh, grab. And with those four attacks, you have a class that's as hugely dynamic as Knight is. And it is, it's one of the most dynamic classes in the game. By dynamic, I mean you can do so much with so little. That should really be the goal for every class. You know, uh, PK takes a bit of a different approach to the idea is that it has so much stuff already laid out for you. Instead of you working out ways to use it on your own, it's already pretty much set up for you. And that's not necessarily bad, but that's also not dynamic. It's giving all, given more function than is necessary than should be necessary for it to be a playable class. And Knight is pretty much a prime example of that. I don't think there's anything with less attacks than Knight. So, yeah, with those, four, with those four regular attacks, Knight has all of its capabilities. It used to be one of the most popular classes in the game, one of the best. It still can be, to some extent. I mean, you won't catch me playing Knight against a good striker, but... The point is that it was successful without its ST. And then Knight's ST is added to the game. And, you know, we're all excited, and I'm playing with it, even though Elysius used to actually be my worst character until I started maining her. Um, we're all playing with it, and I didn't use very much of it then, and now I use next to nothing. If I were to pick an ST build for Knight, the most competitive one I could think of, the one that would allow me to win the most, I would pick... Let's see. I would take the second aerial attack because, I mean, that's kind of big. It's an additional area attack. That's it's huge. And then I would take the critical hit change that changes it into a launcher. However, that's not really because I want it. It's just because I think it... Well, it's because I want it. It's not because I need it, though. It would just be for funsies because anytime I combo someone long enough to hit a critical hit, they're probably already dead or countered. So it's just to see if I can continue my combos, it's just for fun. And I think there was one other thing that I would take. Maybe it was the taunt. But I wouldn't... The point is that I would take one, maybe two things off of the entire general tab of the skill tree. To aid me in winning with Knight. I wouldn't touch the triple, or the jump dash. Because what that is, in essence, is a poor excuse for a flash step. It's for people who can't learn to flash step and so instead use that. But it would mess up a, an actual flash step. You know, I wouldn't touch the um, 
dodge roll thing. I don't know the names for all these, so you're gonna have to bear with me and just guess. I wouldn't touch that because that would be weird every time I try to auto or something like that. Um, and everything else is, and then the loss so much of it that changes the combo, that's completely unnecessary. I don't want my combo changed, I think it's perfect the way it is. Um, moving on to the share tab, and then saving specials for last. Moving on to the share tab, I would probably take the Berserk Super Armor. But that happens so infrequently, and generally the best thing about Berserk is the fact that it launches. That It's not going to make that much of a difference. I wouldn't take the thing that sacrifices your, all your HP for Fatal Super Armor, that's crazy. And I wouldn't take the roll because that would mess up my auto. Which are may, way more important than rolling to avoid a thing that I should be able to avoid on my own. And then specials. Um, I would be more likely to use all of the cash the all of the cash specials. Not the cash ST specials, but the very original cash specials. I used to play with them all the time until we started going full GWC. I would play with Circle Blade, Blade and Magnum Break and Fire or Firestorm, whatever it's called. Blade Storm, something like that. I forget. They are all awesome and they are all way better than anything on the ST. I mean I would still take Circle Blade over the first level of the cash one bar that does the the spiky thingy. I don't know what it's called. Um, and that launches and it's pretty spammable. It's Circle Blade it had the damage and it launched and you could get a grab if you knew what you were doing. So it made it better and more rewarding for a good player. So I would take that. So out of all of those things, those are all I would take. And the same is true for almost every class. I wouldn't touch almost anything for SK, except for the things that make what I already have better, which is, in essence, uh, counterproductive to the idea of skill trees. And that brings me to the second point. Uh, the idea of a skill tree should be variety, not volume. And that was my clever uh, saying for that variety, not volume. Uh, um, everything that's good in an ST just adds more on what's already there. It's another dash attack, another aerial attack, more special, more everything, more Spruzer, more mana. That's not more lives if you're Ronin, or not Ronin, Ryan, if you're Ryan. That's ridiculous. That's so not what an ST is supposed to be, and that's the biggest reason I hate them. It's so inappropriate. And speaking of inappropriate, that's the other. That's why the balancing doesn't work. Everything on an ST is either completely over, is either completely useless or radically inappropriate for the class. Folly for liar, on uh, liar, for example, it's hugely overpowered and then you compare that to hunter stance completely inappropriate for the class and that's true for all the things the defense de debuff why would you need that it's not necessary it's just it just adds more and more to classes that are already solid um the classes that are already classes themselves if you want to think of an st think of the character as your class and then each individual job as an st which is really what it is. I mean, you don't mess with a class with playstyle because that's the class. You don't need to change anything. Um, it, that's it. It's a solid thing. All of the classes are the same, or are like that. The only, like I said, any class that needs an ST needs a revamp because it's the class for being the class's fault for being bad. It should not need an ST. Um, the only for, the only class with an ST right now that does that needs one is Ryan is Druid. And that was not true until Ryan got hit with three different nerfs. Or until Druid got hit with three different nerfs. Um, two of them came during his ST release. They, you can no longer chain Twin Blade, which is the default Ryan 1 bar. You could, you should be able to do hit, the first hit, the second hit, and then immediately after that do another 1 bar. And it would chain, and it was very good at controlling your opponents, which is very important for a class like Ryan, a support class. Uh, then Probably the biggest single nerf in the whole thing is Wolf's dash attack got changed, so it couldn't launch anymore. And that was like one of the sing it was like a staple for the playstyle of Wolf, and that is an absolutely enormous nerf. It basically forced Wolf to be played in corners only because it could not go out into the field and trap people. Um, and then the third nerf, which came more recently during the balance patch, is Wolf Loss and Invincibility Frames for some reason. So, Druid was a great class before, with Resurrection and Wolf and the control granted by the 1-bar. There was nothing wrong with it, until SD showed up. But every single other class with an SD can be played, even Fighter. I actually played Fighter um, 
I think a little bit after S3 started, just for giggles with Next, but I actually got really good at it. Lots of different things you can do with it. It's not the best class. It's not at all. But it's completely playable, and it's much more playable than True it is now. And so, you know, there was talk about Expo's ST and uh, what was the other one? Warlock or Alchemist ST and Spear ST. I hope they never come. I really do, because if they come, then that means that instead of fixing the problem, which is poor class design on those parts, they're using STs as a substitution, and that's just a band-aid. And it's not going to fly in a competitive scene, but I'm talking about in regular PvP as well. So, there's got to be a solution, right? And I think I have one. And, well, I mean, it's obviously my opinion, and I know that it's not necessarily shared by everyone. I think the best thing to do for STs would be to focus on the special section and nothing else. Remove the general tab, remove the share tab. Those are parts of the class you should not touch. They are part of the design and the playstyle, and that's the class. It should not be altered. But specials you can control. Specials are the same thing every time. Well, except for like Rin, or Lin, or whatever. Um, you should have a... a this. It gives two advantages. The first is that you can balance it. You can control it. It's much smaller. And because it's smaller, you can make more of them. You can... I mean, the only the first jobs have it right now. Well, if you're ha only focusing on specials, you can make the other jobs much easier. It's not nearly as daunting of a task. I mean, skill trees released less were, were released less frequently than job changes were. So, the best thing, in my opinion, to do would be to focus on specials. For example, um, an SD should consist of just the specials, and then let's say three specials per job per level of MP. So if I wanted three one bars for night, first one, triple slash, second one, circle blade, third one, um, that sharp spike thingy, I don't remember. There you go, three specials, all of them have a purpose, they're all relatively balanced, obviously this would involve changing numbers and delays and stuff, and that's totally fine. Um, so, it, I mean, you have to balance it. And then, you know, you go to two bars. You've got the regular sword fire, which I love. I don't think I'd give it up for anything. Magnum break. And then, you know, pick a new one or make a new one. Maybe a lot of slashes, the nice survival-y one. And then you go to three bars. Uh, the X, is it Magnum X or something like that? The diagonal default one, which I also love that. Um, Blade storm. And, you know, pick one of the other third ones, the sword fire or whatever. Backlash. They're, I mean, they don't need to be radically different, they just need to be more or less balanced so that you can do, so that you can pick one and be viable with any of them. And I say this because I think some of the specials from Estes are really, really cool. If they were balanced, I would love to use them. I love Protection of Fire, I love the fireballs that I can shoot out of it, I think that's really cool. I would love to see those elemental arrows show up without um, being overpowered. Although in that case, the overpoweredness comes from the delay, which traps you in it. If you were to remove the delay on those, like you have with Alchemist Bombs, you would have a great special there. You could keep it almost exactly the same, because it's going to be so hard to hit with. Um, I, I think that it would be much easier to do. You could do it with every S theory out there. And then in terms of like skill t keys and skill points that we have now, you could change it out like this. Because I would think it would be cool to have a progression of that type of thing. But the best thing that you could do is, say, have a level requirement, or maybe have a key unlock a single skill. Obviously, some of changing the way keys work. You know, maybe a thousand casts for one. Or have them drop in a dungeon. There you go. You have a reason to dungeon and level your character. It's so you can get access to these other skills, which you don't need to be competitive, but you want. And then we can allow them into GWC, and it can add for crazy character builds. I've got a dream where Lear, Liar will one day shoot a healing arrow that has no delay. And it will be the coolest first bar Nex has ever gotten, and he will heal me all the time, and I would love to see it happen, and I would love to be able to use it, and I think that would be a fantastic one bar for Liar, assuming it's balanced. So I think that would be the best thing you can do for Estes. The other thing that I, um, I do want to mention, I don't think all the other parts of Estes are bad too. I think Arme's HP sacrifice is really cool. I would like to see that on maybe Warlock, with a little more balance, because you can't just have Blizzard spam over and over again. But that kind of thing is really cool. And there's a few others. I would like to see the double kunai, not the, I mean the diagonal throw on Thief added permanently to the class. I think that's a cool thing to have. So it's not like I'm against all STs, period. 
but 99% of them is, is just wrong. It shouldn't be the way it is. Um, I am interested in hearing your opinions on this just because most of you will probably have more experience with STs, with modern STs than I do. And I do want to hear your opinion on my thoughts about fixing it because I really don't think it can possibly work with the general section and the shared section the way it is. I cannot ever see it being a balanced system. The only way I think it could succeed and be balanced is by focusing entirely on the skills. And like I said, that would allow them to produce uh, s sections of the skill tree for every class much quicker. And then we would have a whole new game, really, if you were to do that for every class. So uh, yeah, tell me what you think. And uh, that's that.